let's start to have a look at the distributive law. If we take x and then add two ones to it, we get x plus two, which we can think of as one thing looking like this. x plus two is that one thing. Now, if we want three lots of that x plus two, we want one, two, three of those x plus twos. What's that going to be equal to? We'll focus on the yellow. We can see we've got three x's. Focus on the green and we can see we've got plus six ones. So three multiplied by x plus two is three x plus six. And we can see that algebraically by just having a look here. We've got three lots of x plus two. That three has to multiply with each and everything inside the bracket. So three needs to multiply with the x to give you the three x and three needs to multiply with the plus two to give you the plus six. And that's the distributive law, that three needs to multiply with each and every term inside the bracket. So let's try a few more examples. Four multiplied by x minus one. The four needs to multiply with each term inside the bracket. So four needs to multiply with x and you get four x. Four needs to multiply with minus one to give you minus four. If you have minus three x plus two, you're gonna do the same thing. But the thing I suggest you do before you start is just put a big warning sign for yourself next to that minus sign, because that minus has to multiply with each and every term inside the bracket along with the three. So it's minus three times x, which is minus three x, and minus three times plus two, which is minus six. One last example. Here again, we've got a minus three outside the bracket, and it's got to multiply with each and every term inside the bracket. Again, I'm going to put a little warning sign for myself, so I remember that that minus needs to multiply in with everything. Minus three times five x is minus 15 x, and minus three times minus two, negative times negative gives me positive, so it is plus six.